Hi, my name is Tom Clyke. We're in Tobo, Wisconsin today at a fleet called Rethwich, and we're going to install roller bushings on two different styles of trucks. One has an elastomeric bushing, the other has a threaded greasable bushing. Okay, we're now going to start the removal and installation on our 2016 Peterbilt 3D9. This particular model has an elastomeric or rubberized bushing that looks like this. If you were to replace this bushing, just as the OE bushing, you would have to buy the whole assembly. So in this case, I bought the whole assembly with the bushing in it and I pressed it out for a visual. Same thing on the spring, you'd have to remove the, the complete spring from the truck and replace the entire spring which would have the bushings in there. Now what we're going to do today is we're going to remove the spring and the hanger bracket and we're going to press those bushings out on the press and we'll show you how to do that and then uh, we'll install the new roller bushing. We're going to first start by removing the bolts and the sidebars on the spring. Next we're going to pull the old uh, elastomeric pin and bushings out of the spring eye. So the way to do that, we're going to set it up on our press, our adapter, hit our socket, set this over, line it up, put our socket over the top, and the socket is big enough to fit around the bushing, but it will clear the spring eye. Now that we got the old pin and bushings out, we're going to put the roller bushings in the spring assembly. We've cleaned up the spring eyes. There's two different pins and bushings that go in this spring assembly. There's one's for the front and one's for the rear shackle assembly. So this happens to be the left spring of that Peterbilt 389 that we just worked on. The front pin and bushing is a stepped bushing, a little larger pin. You'll notice it has the ribs. That's the one we use for the spring eye. The back assembly is just a, a standard pin. And again, it's ribbed because we're putting it into the spring eye as well. All right, we're going to install the, the front pin first. Uh, again, this is the left spring. So we're going to make sure that as we're installing the pin, the grease circ is to the outside of the vehicle. Right there. And we're going to lubricate both the spring eye and the pin. For the spring eye and the bushing, little WD. And we're going to install it, as you notice, with the pin in the bushing. And we have our driver. Again, we decided what driver we needed when we looked at what kit we were installing. Now we're going to install the, uh, the back side, the shackle side of the assembly. So we'll grab the bushing with the uh, straight pin. Again, the ribs because it's going into the spring eye. And we'll lubricate the spring eye as well as the bushing. Okay, and again, this is the outside of the truck. So we want to make sure that the grease circuit is facing out. These are our adapter, driver, pin and bushing together.
Okay, now we're going to take our spring assembly and reinstall it in the truck. We've installed our roller bushings already. That's ready to go. And then we're going to install our hanger bracket onto the frame. And then we're going to put the shackle assemblies together and reinstall that front anchor pin by uh, putting the caps back on as well. Now we're going to install the uh, front anchor pin back onto the truck. I'm going to need Zach for this. So I can hold the bolts on the top and he can tighten the nuts on the bottom. But we've already assembled the clamps for the bottom on either side. The thing you have to look for here is that make sure your grease circuit again is on the outside. We'll put the grease circuit in later. And that the groove in the pin lines up with the uh, groove in the bracket on the truck. And as we pull it all up together, that'll cinch it tight. And then we'll go ahead and put our grease circuit and uh, grease the bushing. Okay, now that we have the front anchor pin secure, we're going to go back to the back of the spring and install the rear shackles. And the first thing you want to do is make sure that your pins are spun the, the right way. There's a groove in the pin that'll line up with the hole for the bolt in the side sidebar. Okay, once you get those in position, you should be able to turn those very easily. We're going to put our washers and our shim washers on both sides. We put them on the back side. Put them on the front side. And in some cases, we might need a couple extras because you want to get that nice and tight. But before that, we'll put on our rear shackle. All right, now we're gonna take a C-clamp and put it on either side of the sidebar. And draw that tight before we tighten the nuts down. Remove the C-clamp. Okay, now we're ready to put in the grease circs and uh, grease the bushings. And that's it. Thanks for watching. For more information, you can go to hortonww.com or you can subscribe to our YouTube channel.